Everybody. This is Alain Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Maintal, Germany. Today with a comparably new guitar. It's a, a 19, 2000. <laughs> it's a 2000. We're in the new millennium now. Uh, I've been asked AS200, the John Schofield model. Um, well, John Schofield started with a normal Gibson E335 and then he changed to the Ibanez uh, guitar for what, for what reason? Because they're a little more transparent in the, in the low uh, registers. So if you play with like uh, uh, vintage tube amp amps, uh, they a little more transparent in the bass registers and they're comfortable to play. They have great playability, great necks and so on. So this became one of the real original famous Ibanez models and and it's been, of course it was an 80s guitar it, uh, originally, but it was reintroduced as the John Schofield guitar around 2000, around that time. And uh, it's a beautiful guitar, it's, the playability is great and the sustain is great and the really comfortable play. They're different from Gibson's. <laughs> They're more open, more open, more you know, brighter sounding. But have really, I think they have, they have a great following because uh, among jazz guitarists because since, since they have a very distinct all in sound and that's the John Schofield sound. This is a 92, uh, a 2000, I'm going to say yes, 200 and uh, I'm uh, saying bye bye, Go, I'm moving into dementia now. This is Ali Neander from Guitar Point Vintage Guitars in Pinetown, Germany. Thank you, bye bye.